Alright, a very good evening everybody. Welcome along to round 10 of 11 here at the beautiful street circuit of Azerbaijan and Baku. Uh, should be a good night of EU1 action in the coverage box. Jack Fighters. Yes, um, certainly one that to, to really test the concentration here, isn't it? I mean, you've got that uh, almost two mile, um, over two mile long acceleration period out of the, uh, what's the final real corner, the final braking zone, just as you get into the third sector, all the way down that long, you know, this, this right hand, a sweeping left and right bend, uh, which is taken flat out in these cars. Um, all the way down into the first corner. It's about 30 seconds of just pressing the accelerator and hoping the car sticks. And um, what that means, that, that test is concentration there and then you have to spot your braking point. And then once you're around the back of the circuit, through the old city section, around the old castle, it gets very, very narrow. And you get a lot of issues, I think. Speaking of issues, Joey has, well, he's not damaged himself, but he has just uh, outbraked himself and it's come to a complete stop but continued at turn three where which has seen I think it's fair to say quite a few incidents and there's I think somewhere that we could expect quite a bit of action there. Two tricky tracks to end off a season both different in their own way uh, Mexico well it's actually impossible that this championship doesn't go to Mexico um, so, yeah, very much looking forward to that. Very much looking forward to what's going to happen tonight. It is a four-way fight at the top, but unfortunately one of the drivers who's in that hunt can't be here because his wheel hasn't been repaired uh, or fixed or delivered. Uh, that's vaporizer. So, uh, championship's very, very close. Bolin, 105. Risa, 104. And Fruitful, 102. It's very, very close, as is the constructors between Williams Racing Point and Mercedes. So two Williams drivers then in the top three, or the three remaining uh, championship contenders. Fruitful and Bolin will look after one another if they need to. Um, they've, they've been very, very good at this. And as Conzo joins, I suspect he'll be starting from the... Well, Calzo joins, he'll be starting from the back. Uh, but they've been very, very good at this, um, looking after one another and uh, keeping themselves... You know, out of each other's way. We'll see whether that continues now. They're, they're probably going to win the, the Constructors' Championship, barring a quite a horrible mishap. And so, with that in mind, I think the gloves may come off between Fruitful uh, and Rowan, and of course, uh, the other driver as well, which is uh, which is Risa. Risa is obviously going to be starting at the back, isn't he? After a serious misdemeanour, it must be said, at the start of the Spanish Grand Prix a week ago. So, uh, what we have seen this week is a couple of good races. I commentated EU3 that had some talking points and some good racing. Uh, didn't quite watch as much as EU2 as I would have liked last night. And we got uh, EU1 tonight, so <laughs> she'll make up for it. Uh, 20 corners of the track, 12 left, 8 right, anti-clockwise as you all know. And uh, 6.003 kilometers. That means it's uh, 26 laps at 50%, 51 laps for 100. And of course, we have the DRS zone uh, down to turn one and from two to three. Where we have fruitful then to start a lap, Limmy. Oh, you want to take us on a guide? Uh, well, it's not the track I know the best, but it's certainly one that will do now. We're building a way up to, to nearly uh, to past 200 miles now. We'll probably be at 211 by the time he hits the brakes going into the first corner. You're just waiting, waiting, waiting. Bring the car over to the right-hand side as you start your lap. 210 miles an hour. Take as much of the curb as you can. Don't clip that curb on the inside too hard. It'll unsettle the car. Straight the car up easily now. Just be a bit patient through turn two. Don't hit that curb too hard. He looks like he did clip it quite hard there. But that'll set you up for the best exit now, going on to the back straight. Already heading into turn three. Uh, 21 seconds already done of the lap, and you've gone almost uh, oh, well, well over a mile. Don't knock the inside wheel too much. But um, through turn three, turn four. Again, hit the curb too hard, and you'll come across. It hits it just nicely there. You finish the first sector now. Take as much of the inside curb, so as close to that wall as possible, to set up for the best exit. The turn seven, I believe it is, now heading towards the castle section. You can cut this curve quite well. As long as you don't put the left wheel over, it will be okay. Now, single file through here in the race through the castle section. You really have to ace it through there. You can't leave any any 
gap between each wall, otherwise you'll lose a lot of time. Now through the Ericsson bend, as Broman Grosjean may call it, as you get back towards the end of the second sector now. Spot your breaking point again for the final corner. Oh, he's just about got away with that, but he kept it nicely out of the wall. Now the second sector is done. The final sector is just an acceleration zone at this point. Now, weave your way right, then left, flat out, building up speed all the way to 200 miles an hour towards the line. He will not lift all the way through that final sector from that uh, from that final real corner. 210 miles an hour across the line, fruitful. This looks a good lap. I think this might just get him into the top top three here. Here he goes across the line. Third it is. 1 minute 37.3. A bit of time left on the table, um, I suspect, in uh, what was the final corner of that uh, second sector. I can't remember the corner numbers off by heart. There's that many of them. Uh, but he clipped the curb and... Uh, Unsettled the car a little bit. Kept it out of the wall, so he was okay. Um, but that may have cost him a bit of time. And he did clip a curb um, at turn four as well, which may have uh, just unsettled the car a little bit there. But not a bad banker for Fruitful there. Thank you, Jack. Bit of a joke, actually, how much curb you can take at turn 15. Literally all four wheels over it. But uh, it's allowed. Uh, seven minutes into the quality session. Uh, we've got Passassin filling in for Vaporize in the Racing Point. We've got Snipes filling in for Arcolo in the Ferrari. We've got Timmy filling in for Samad in the other Ferrari. Wizard is filling in for Denzo. Ricciardo, nice to see him, is uh, filling in for Boseman in the Haas. 12 standard, 13 standard with Calzo joining. Uh, just with, uh, well, he's got a bit of time to be fair. He'll like need to leave himself a fresh set of softs, otherwise, I suspect he'll be starting on worn softs from 18th because with the qualifying glitch as it normally is, uh, that's normally bad news for anybody looking to try and start anywhere other than the back row. Uh, got some interesting news, everybody. Uh, there is a chance of some light rain before the end of the race, whether it'll come to the track in time or not. We will see, but uh, any safety car or VSC might increase that time. So let's hope something cool happens. Uh, this is a very important night for the three people that are here for the championship. And of course, uh, the man in 15th at the moment will be starting 18th. Risa has a quality ban because of that incident in Spain. He reached the six penalty accumulation point requirement. If you hit that, you have to take a quality ban. So one of the championship protagonists is starting at the back and he's going to have to do some comeback drive. You don't see many of them on this circuit and we'll see how he progresses through the night, Jack. I, suspect, I don't yeah, know how I suspect, he's going to do. But yeah. yeah, I suspect he would have probably got one anyway, to be honest, because it was, um, well, a total mess, wasn't it, at the start of uh, the Planet Form pre last week. Yeah, maybe uh, he, he, also, he also got a couple of uh, penalty points, didn't he, for issues in Austria. So it really has uh, you know, really come to roost those two uh, those two moves um, in the form of that qualifying ban. Not, a, not an awful place to get a, a qualifying ban because there's going to be some fireworks in the mid-pack if the previous races are anything to go by. Certainly on Monday night. Yeah. Um, it was a uh, it was a bit of a carnage uh, show on the first lap and, uh, Wasn't and the last most night it was quite eventful. I've seen. Um, it's best I say silent, but yeah, uh, you, you, you no, be it careful. was it was <laughs> it, it was a challenge I think for for drivers and it is a challenge for for you know EU three drivers even for EU one drivers it'll be a challenge to keep the uh, to keep the uh, cars out of each other's way and and out of the barriers on the first lap or so with everything so cold. Um, I think it's worth pointing out as well that you've got, you know, a very, very close field. Um, it's been close all year, hasn't it? I mean, you know, very rarely is more than half a second separated the top, uh, the top eight, top ten, and I think that's going to play out here today. Um, and that might mean that a few more drivers are a little bit edgy. Um, certainly, that seemed to be the case in the previous nights. It was also a bit of a uh, a challenging race at the start of last night as well so uh, certainly yeah, if the form book's anything to go by and Baku's reputation is anything to go by then we could be seeing um, some cars swapping bits of bodywork on the opening lap and that might present opportunities towards Risa and most likely uh, it was Calzo that was on the drag wasn't it Shout out, thank you to Risa for hosting the lobby for us and thank you for Tass from T-World 
Uh, Rowan, 34.194 in the first sector. That's one millisecond quicker than the purple that he set. Uh, seven milliseconds down is out for Matt. Uh, Julian uh, is actually purple. He set a 1.84. Uh, in the first sector, so we'll keep an eye on that. So uh, on board with the Williams of Rowan as he comes through turn 16, and then somehow you've got four corners before the line 17, 18, 19, 20. But we'll forget about those because it's all flat. Here he is through that little left right kink, as Jack said. The Williams driver 36, 985 on pole at the minute. Can he improve on that? I think just about it was a tenth and a half up in the second sector and a tiny bit in the first. So we may see a tenth and a half here. We may see a point seven or a point eight crosses the line. Here's a point eight in the low end. It's an 816 for the Williams of Rowan putting a statement out for, to hope for that championship. Yeah, Alps displaced him very, very quickly. He's only 14 thousandths of a second faster, but that'll do for the uh, Turkish American who's had a really solid season. He started a little bit later, but he's been really, really useful in that second um, and now first, really, with the demise of, uh, of Vaporizer. Uh, in that uh, racing point, he's done a really good job for them and uh, he's kept them in the uh, hunt. For, for top honours in the Constructors' Championship. Rowan's just give uh, Fruitful a little toe. Uh, hasn't really worked off though. I think he was just late into that uh, corner. I believe it's five and six at left, right. Uh, and I think he was a tenth half down from that. It looked a little bit thin. Yeah, he's also invalidated to going into the castle that. section, so it doesn't matter anyway. So uh, he'll pit. Now, the, the only good thing I can say about that is that it means that these tyres will be a lap younger should he need them later on should he need them at the end uh well should he need them in a safety car there's a safety car that comes out halfway through or halfway um you know during the race and there is to be rain you know should he decide to use them and it might happen it might not there's always a potential for a safety car here uh then he may be able to use them a little bit later on but yeah certainly not his finest now and certainly not his finest lap <coughs> Yeah, excuse me, I just want to point out um, that uh, we as commentators, not our primary job, uh, but we are on the hunt for people not doing legal pit entries. Um, it's well, been I can tell you fruitful is fine. It's been very strict this week. The admins have made it absolutely clear with a, a DEF 1 2019 gear that you are at all times to remain both wheels to the left of the white line, including when you're actually coming into the pit lane like after, where the wall starts on the right hand side so uh, everyone's got to follow that if you don't do it correctly uh, I mean we've seen some harsh penalty decisions this season already but uh, it'll be a 20 second penalty I believe for an illegal pit entry so watch out everybody keep your eyes on it we don't we don't want to advertise punishing drivers but you know it, it's, uh, rules are there to be followed but it is perfectly fair because, you know, though those are the rules in Formula One. Okay, it's not quite that strict, but you know, that's that's the pit entry. You can't just weave your way over at any any given point to get into the pits. You have to follow the correct line. And uh, no, that's that's perfectly perfectly right that uh, anything like that. They're, they're good drivers here. They're very good drivers. They should be able to follow that. So uh, perfectly fine. Uh, for that to happen. Not much in the way of action going on. Uh, Conzo's just gone 14. <coughs> uh, what is wrong with my fault this evening? Uh, Conzo's just gone 14. 38, 2, 4, 8. He needs, yeah. uh, what, 6 steps of a second to even get into the left. He won't make it back round. That's him dumb. He won't make it back round. Um, get into the pits, refuel, change tyres, and then go back out again. He won't make it back round. So 14th uh, and done for him uh, tonight. Now Calzo is in the pits. I suspect Calzo, if he's got any sense, will be staying there. Uh, keeping the uh, that soft tyres. Wizard, has, Wizard, meanwhile, is out on the circuit. Let's just see what he's doing. I suspect. Well, Joey's he's... the first one of the outlock to have just started that fast lap. Yeah, now. same as Julian. Julian's about to set himself up. He's going to get a go. He's weaving his tyres quite a bit, isn't he? get some real heat the problem is with that is they'll they'll be cold again by the time you get into the braking zone so I don't know uh, not I know as a uh, competitive I know a lot of drivers love it and some really don't um, the three purple sector times uh, by three different drivers at the moment so that's quite interesting uh, Julian's got the first uh, Rowan's got the second and Fruitful's got the third uh, Alpha's got none of them but still pole somehow 
Yeah, if Ripple could hook his second sector up, he'd be uh, right towards the sharp end, but his second sector's well away from where he wants to be. Now, Julian, that's fairly good through turn one. Turn two, doesn't hit the uh, doesn't hit the curve on the inside at all. I don't think that's a bad thing. He kept himself nicely out on the wall there too, so... No, it's a smooth smooth start for Julian, who's got himself up to third place. He's two tenths off, and... Um, oh, he's a bit long into the braking zone there. He won't like turn three at all. But um, just as soon as I started praising him, let's just see where this lands him. This lands him well. He's no, he's a, over a tenth down. He was, yeah, it was a poor third corner for him, I'm afraid. As he, uh, I don't know if Joey's yeah, he's given up. He matched purple first. He's gone quite slow the second. And it only moves him up to eleventh place. Wizard has retired in the pit lane. Joey's gonna spin the Alpha Male. I don't know quite what he plans to do there, but there we go. Uh, Calzo's next. Uh, Jack Pentis in the Renault car. Okay, so let's just see now um, as we go. 210, 200, just about doesn't break 211 there. It's very close. Hits the curb a little bit hard there. Unsettles the car. Had to take two two attempts really to to get that exit. So not his finest. But uh, perfect return too, to be fair. That was absolutely gorgeous through there. He was on the power Julian so early. Cancel, by the way? Is that Julian having a moment? Down Julian, turn, Julian had abandoned his lap anyway. Um, he'd abandoned it because it was a, well, it was a dreadful turn three, which uh, lost him a lot of time. Not a bad... Yeah, he's... Carlso's a bit longer on the brakes there too into turn four. Just locks the inside wheel and it just sends him past the apex. But he's three tenths up. Um, we can get him a lot of places to be perfectly honest. We're getting him up to 14th, but uh, you know, if he's got a bit of time to make up around the lap, then he should be okay. He does lock up the inside wheel again, though, going into the castle section. Not really what you want to be doing. Uh, he's hit the wall of castle, but he's going to continue, is he? Yeah, it's been a bit of a mess, that second sector. Yeah, it has been, hasn't it? I don't know whether he's damaged anything, but I would suggest that. Um, yeah, I'd suggest that uh, that would have hampered him, certainly. Problem is, for, for, for Calzo, is again, he locks up on the inside and clambers the curb and then takes himself to the wall. Yeah, he's lost two tenths there. He keeps locking the inside front wheel, wherever he is. He hasn't got that braking quite right, because he keeps locking that inside front wheel. Fair enough. We'll go back to the car behind there. It's across the line. Checker flag is out for us. About 10 to 15 seconds. I think everyone's passed their on to their hot laps. And the times are going to fly in now. We'll try Rollins and keep next on track. Across the line. Clambers the curb. Keeps it out the wall. I think Alp's crashed at the castle section. He has. Alp has crashed. He won't be improving. He was half a tenth down in, in there. So plenty to find, certainly, for the Turk. But he's, as he goes now, he's rowing. Rowing's the first across the line. Lemmy is just about to, uh, I think it's to fruitful. get... I might be wrong. Uh, yes, he is. No, that is that is true. Fruitful goes third. Here comes Rowan, though. Campbell Williams Shriver put his car on pole position. You yep. bet he can. By 42,000. Here comes Milan second. Malgo. Milan Malgo in the Red Bulls next across. He's a tenth up. Could displace Julian if he's uh, aced the final sector. Where is he? Fourth. He'll hope nice. to do a yeah. He'll hope a good starting position. It's, uh, think, yeah, Stipes is going to improve. Are the Alfa Tauris both on laps? I think so. I think Roman's going to pick up a slipstream off his teammate who's going to cross the line first. So, I don't know if this is planned. Yeah, so if, I don't think it is. I don't think they're in contact with each other. But here we go. Total Peace is first. Where's he going to go? He's backed off, I think. Um, his teammate goes fifth. Not bad. Third row of the grid. The front count of it, a lot anyway. of places. Yeah, yeah. That's good teamwork. Whether they meant it or not. Purple in the final sector. Purple by quite a distance. And so then the a, final sector according well, to that. No, no. Once. No, but P5 will do. That error for Julian and... Ricciardo's the last one. Can he break higher into the top ten? Oh, just oh he improves, but he doesn't improve place-wise. Pace-wise, but not place-wise there for the uh, for the Welshman. Uh, reserving upwards, as is IFR Snipes in the uh, Ferrari. And Timmy, where to next? 15th on the grid, as well as Wizard. And Pesassin. Pesassin's obviously filling in for Vaporizer, who we wish well. Uh, indeed. Uh, it's an interesting qualifying session, that, I think, because yeah. the Williams have got the, got each other. You know, they're first and third. They'll look after each other to an extent. Alp, if Alp starts as he normally starts, then Fruitful may have a chance of uh, get, getting into second place. And that's really bad news for Risa, because Risa... Obviously, starting right at the back. Yep. 
yeah, he's, he's going to find himself um, with a lot of work to do. He's going to have to be on the alternate strategy, mm -hmm. and he's going to have to hope. I suspect he might go on hard tyres until the rain comes, but then when the rain does come, those hard tyres are going to be the first ones to lose any kind of uh, temperature. So Julian Wasford drops to six, Alpen rowing front row of the grid, fruit from Milan behind, Rowan and Julian, and then Snipes and Dresse, fourth row of to Ricciardo, and Joey will be starting P11. Uh, he's the, are we going to be first of the medium or hard starters? We have been told there may be some rain, there may not be, of course, uh, it is Cole Masters, they can, they decide the fate, uh, but there may be a chance of some rain at the end of the race, so we'll see if that happens, whether it does or whether it doesn't, we have seen strategy play uh, a part, uh, people having some debates in the streams regarding what's better, medium or hard as a tyre, well I've commentated one race and seen that both of them can do their own individual jobs, uh, we saw Connell go into the mediums uh, that acted actually quite well. Uh, I've also seen the hards do very well too, so I don't know what's best, I don't know what's optimum, maybe Jack has a better idea because he's been a racer this week here, but uh, I think um, it's quite even between the two. Difficult guys, really, the, the mediums are neither Arthur nor Martha to be honest, some might start on the mediums and then just you know, hope that they come in uh, later on and uh, there isn't a safety car because if there isn't a safety car the soft runners tyres will go after lap 4. But um, I would suggest that you're probably going to be starting on the hards or the softs, um, in my experience anyway. Uh, Rowan put an angry face to Alp. I don't know if that's because he got he tried to get power or got in his way. I don't know. <laughs> I would suggest uh, it's because he went through the castle section not long after Out had a chat with the wall. Ah, the Clex yes. style, I think. Yes, that could, yes. Oh yeah, now I'm picturing that moment. Rowan might have been behind him. Because I think there was a blue dot on the map. I'm trying to use my photographic memory. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Um, we've had excellent viewership in uh, EU1 all season, and uh, we appreciate you being here. Hopefully, we can put some entertainment on. Um, I don't, honestly, I'll be honest. Honestly, I'll be honest. Um, I don't like this circuit, um, but it does offer some great commentary moments, um, uh, as we saw on Monday. Um, one of which you was involved in, Jack. But we'll, we, we'll digress. It wasn't. Uh, it wasn't nice to watch, to be honest. No and, comment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we saw Kay Mark as well miss uh, mess up his breaking point in a turn three. Um, it happens. He also made a four car pile up. Um, that was interesting. And then we also saw some fantastic overtaking as well. Um, we saw Certainly Joel. something that you can do. Certainly something that you can do. But here we is saw Joel got plenty of chance to overtake. On the last lap in Castle, he had to drop to fourth. Uh, he was third. So uh, yeah, and uh, basically, after the next 45 minutes or so, it's gonna set us up, isn't it, Jack, with a, a beautiful finale in Mexico. Yes, Mexico again, a track where you can overtake. Um, as well, there's two very long straights within succession, which does make it a bit of a DRS train, as opposed to uh, you know what what you'd normally look for in the there's two two long straights at uh, either end of a circuit with some sweeping corners in the middle. But uh, that's the situation we live in. That's the world we live in at the moment with regards to all the one circuit. So uh, yeah, but with this one again, again very much the same. But um, here anyway, the walls. And the uh, the streets really do keep you awake, and uh, it really is a test for the uh, for the drivers here. Formation lap is underway. What is the tyre situation? So top ten, obviously all on soft tyres, and then it's a bit of a medley. Uh, the there's two further soft runners in Total P's and Wizard. Total P's 13th, Wizard in 17th. Only one driver, and that's Conzo, starting on medium tyres, with Joey Passassin. Timmy where to next uh, Calzo and Risa all opting for hard tyres so uh, pretty much as I said with the exception of Conzo who's looking to try and mix things up a bit and why not from 14th you may as well go completely alternate to what other drivers are doing and we shall see certainly we shall see very interesting way for Risa to warm up the tyres why the beep is Wizard and Peas on softs uh, I can't answer that, maybe Jack can in a second. Rowan snipes Risa, Williams top two, Rowan P3, Rowan, Rowan, Rowan through, Julian, Joey, Milan. A lot of different um, 
I think LPP five by turn one. <laughs> yeah, I think the reason that uh, Wizards done that is because he can elongate the soft tires just a little bit, um, and he'll be faster. You know, so he'll get himself into the mix. He'll get himself into eleventh or twelfth or thirteenth potentially, as long as he avoids any issues. So that's why he's done it. And it's the same for total speeds as well. That's 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 what it is. It is just simply a case of uh, of, of them trying to get in amongst it, try and see what they can do because the soft tires ahead of them, they're going to be 15% more worn already, and that's the thing. We all know that this hasn't been a 22-week season. It has been halved to 11. But what we have seen more than ever in EU1 is incidents on lap one. We saw a big one in Spain, we saw a big one in Japan. Again, will we see another one here tonight? I I don't know. I'm ready for anything, of course, but uh, yeah, it's not been the cleanest of lap ones for Miss Tear this season, has it? No, it's been a bit more feisty. And uh, that's why there's been so many because it's a shorter season. There's there's less time to to make up any positions, and that's why you've had these issues. Is because it is a shorter season, and drivers have been a lot more desperate to get going. Didn't even know this camera view existed, but it's a nice one. Here we go, back to the lights. Five lights on ahead of the drivers. It's lights down, away we go, they weren't held for long, Rowan gets away extremely well, Alp struggles for the second time this season, and it's a Williams 1-2 as we head into turn 1, there's an Alpha ML trying, sorry, Alpha Tally trying to go around the outside, and I think Rowan has done so, he's up in a P3 as we head into turn 2, then comes out, then comes Milan in the Red Bull behind him, Julian and Ferrari going to wheel, wheel to wheel, we head down to turn 2. It's a Renault that's gone off, it's Conzo who's gone down the escape road, I don't know whether he's got any damage or not, but um, he's been squeezed out. Poor start, really poor start for Alp, uh, with Fruitful getting past as expected. But Rowan, Rowan really got away well from the third row and has gone around the outside. And he's effectively blocked the exit. And by blocking the exit for Alp, that means that Alp is limited to where he can go. Milan didn't get a good enough start behind to really challenge him. There's, looks like there's been an is incident that an behind. Uh, yeah. I can't see yes, that. There is. Oh, it's a virtual it's... safety car. Who is that? Looks like an Alpha that Tally that is stopped. is total peas. Uh, yeah, there's bits of bodywork strewn all over, including uh, all of that Alpha Tauri front wing. Couldn't see it with, though, because the, uh, my Tass has decided it doesn't want to play ball. Uh, but, total uh, peas and Stinson. Yeah. Uh, yes, so that would explain why I saw a Mercedes getting in all sorts of trouble. I think there is total peace. I don't know why he's trying to let the Renault go. What he's going to do is earn one of them a penalty. Might as well just continue to drive around and then pull over around when he needs to. Now back going again. Yeah, it's been a comparatively safer uh, first lap. I think Reese is already up to 14th, isn't he? He's got past Stinson. I think Stinson is struggling. Let's just have a little look here, see quite how bad that is. It looks, uh, looks fairly intact, but I suspect... Oh, no, you can see there is... I there think Stats might have a go on Julian here. He's gained and he's gained with restriction. He's managed to burn 50% of the whole battery. Decides not to. Does that mean Julian's gone a bit too deep? No, not too bad there. Turning in at turn one. And uh, Snipes is still behind the Haas driver. The two Ferrari power cars having a battle. Julian getting slippy on the exit. We'll see a bit more of that tonight too. My code masters is telling me all sorts of different things, so I'm afraid I can't help on the old position front. Oh, fair um, enough. Must be different first because mine's actually working for once. Yeah, I wish mine was, but uh, good old code masters doing as they do. Now, so, it's Fruitful obviously is second. Um, I think that much is absolutely true. Rowan's getting away well. He's built a nice little uh, a nice little gap there. Uh, Fruitful, 1.1 seconds behind, but he is a further second up the road from... Uh, well, he's a, yeah, he is a further second up the road from Rowan, who is uh, behind. Oh, no, he isn't. He's a bit closer. I'm guessing from my timings here, it really is rather shocking from Co-Masters. Yeah, uh, I, I, I did say it was working. It's now not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yeah, you are perfect for the commentator, really, because mine's got Stinson in the lead. But um, Alp, well, he's uh, he's just got to settle in at this point now. Play the poor start, you've just got to settle in. Um, I think it is fairly clear that Rowan is, uh, you know, he is the quicker of the two Williams drivers, and he has now started to build some form of gap. And yes, so we've got... 
think now that is no, it's still not right, is it? It's nowhere near right. I think the uh, positions. I think the, the timing positions isn't. Are, the positions are right, but the timing's not so. Nowhere near. Uh, I think we are now finally is, there uh... because Fruitful is 1.6 seconds clear, and he's yeah, Fruitful is now uh, Fruitful's 1.6 seconds behind Rowan, yep. uh, and is half a second ahead of Rowan. Uh, going to be fun trying to differentiate between those two if they stay so close. Yeah, so the lap is correct now. We are on lap 3 of 26. They say this game is ready for eSports. Don't talk rubbish. Anyway, the two Williams lead the way at the front. Then comes Rowan, then comes out, and Milan. Then Julian slides Jesse Bass and Ricciardo's up tonight. Joey in the top 10. Timmy, where to next? Might have just got a move. There's a Renault and a Mercedes behind him. Going wheel to end a turn 4, I think that is. But they yep. all get through safe. Timmy in front of Calzo in front of Risa. Was just waiting um, to say, because Calzo was actually trying to make a move on Tim. He outbreaks himself going into turn three. Um, and this is really bad news for Risa. He needs to get clear of these and get going, because Passassin on the other hard tyres, as well as Joey, they are up the road. They're gone. They're away and gone. Uh, they are almost on to the, the back of the pack. They're a couple of seconds behind the soft drop runners, which is fine if you run hard at the moment. Um, but Reese is a further four, five seconds behind, and he's losing all sorts of time as these two try and sort themselves out. I suspect he might have a run into this corner here. He is, is he? He's going to go down the inside of Calzo. No, it's a bit half-hearted. He's going to leave Calzo a little bit, a uh, little bit disadvantaged on the exit. And here's where he might have him. Calzo's got a lot more ERS, and Rowan's using his. Uh, Reese is using his now. He's pushing him along. Oh, don't do that. Alpha do and Rowan are going wheel to wheel by the way in a turn one. Out around the outside in the pink Mercedes. He's off the white line. He might have got a warning for it. And uh, I think Rowan's going to break super late in the turn two. He's going to stay ahead of Alp for the moment. But he's got DRS, of course, on Fruitful. Makes it harder for the racing point to get past. Uh, yes, Rowan aided by DRS there uh, by Fruitful in the art of defence. Alp really got a good run on him and... Um, you, you kind of have to be at least half a car ahead if you're going to make an outside run work. I think Reese has got past one of those that were holding him up. He's just got past Timmy uh, for 13, so that's one of them. Now he's got to clear the Renault ahead. Uh, and really get after the cars ahead because he's five seconds of clear air ahead. Uh, whilst Joe and Passassin um, are really hanging on well to the back end of the points already on those hard tyres. They're going to come into play a little bit later on. So we saw an incident on lap one between Total Peace and uh, Mercedes of Stinson. We saw a VSC. Other than that, we're safe. Now on board with Rowan's gearbox, but I'm going to go back to Milan's gearbox because he's got a hat right near. Oh, he's gone! Milan's gone! He's not out of the race, but he's spun quite heavily and he's going to go all the way back, even behind this pack of four that have catch him up now. And Milan has gone off there, uh, self inflicting, I'm pretty sure. Disaster, I think Ericsson hit him there. Um, <laughs> soft tyres, you can one. put hard tyres on from here and you'll get to the end, but I mean, he's he's really hamstrung, isn't he? Because he's obviously, he's cost himself 10 seconds in the art of chucking it in the wall. He's, uh, he's, he's cost himself further time getting back to the bits. It's going to cost himself more time putting the front wing on. Those tyres are going to be horrible by the end. So, disaster, absolute disaster for Milan who's uh, really going to have to work hard now to get anything from this race. I suspect he'll be dropping probably to to, to, uh, to second last behind to uh, behind Stinson, head of Total Peas. And pit lane well. But, uh, yeah, that's not what the Red Bull driver wanted at all. And, uh, yeah, that really is uh, really is a dagger to the heart for the, uh, for the uh, Dutchman there. Oh, someone going wheel to wheel in the background. Yes, it was. It was Passassen and Joey. And uh, I was going to go on board with it, but I left it because I thought they were fine. Ends up, they weren't fine. And Persassin has dropped a couple of places back, actually, to where he was started. And I just wanted Looks to... Oh, sorry, go on. just about intact, doesn't he, in terms yeah. of his car. It's just it's just cost him a few positions. Often what happens when you go into the turn three, it narrows a lot more than you think it does. So if you're on the outside, you're faced often with a choice of, uh, of hit the wall or stop. I think that's what happened there. Joey giving no quarter. May be reported, but I doubt there'll be anything done. Joey giving no quarter there. And Assassin really paying the price. But, uh, 
No, he's, he's back going again. It's only cost him a few seconds. It's not the end of the world and certainly not cost him anywhere near as much as uh, previous incidents with other drivers have done. Although he does slap the wall there, wheel first. So uh, that shows he does mean business. Good news for Risa though, because A, he's cleared Calzo, and B, it's a few, one fewer car between him and the top. So uh, this rescue mission has started quite well for the day. A couple of pits. Uh, it's from Fruit Forum Rowan. Uh, I think Albert's going to get him down to turn one regardless, but he is through. Uh, yeah, just, just for two, Jack. Just for two. Yeah, fairly early, but if there is to be rain, then that might not be a bad thing because they'll still be in good condition when the rain does arrive, or if the rain does arrive. Um, and so, at that point, they'll, they'll make the end. They're fine to make the end. They'll be horrible to drive, but that'll be the same, you know, whenever you put the hard tyres on because when they wear here, it feels like you're driving a boat, to be honest. <laughs> like um, the seamen on the Grand Tour. Jeremy Clarkson riding a boat. Julian's all over the back of Alp as we go through the inner streetness of Azerbaijan. It's, uh, it's very pretty. I won't say the track is as much. It's very tight. It's very hard on these drivers who drive incredibly fast. I, I, I could not do yeah, this. Yeah, Alp, Alp's not really very happy, is he, on those tyres? He's uh, no. five seconds off the lead. Not really going forwards, is he? Um, and I suspect he may have issues as well if anybody does try and... Oh, someone spun! Someone spun on the outside of Castle. Calzo's gone. I don't think it was contact from Pesassin. I think Pesassin was just an onlooker and then drove past to the right-hand side of the Renault, but that's two spins near that outside. Can happen. Can happen if you uh, if you tag the wall there. Um, if you tag the wall with the side pod, the side pod just basically acts as a pivot. Um, and that may be what happened there. Rowan's lining up Wizard now. Wizard's proving a nice little roadblock for him, uh, or for uh, for Fruitful, and for the cars ahead. Rowan pits. Um, might get undercut, but uh, the hard to soft undercut. Else, obviously, uh, there's a bigger gap. But Rowan pits. Now, who else is in? I think Alps pitted, and Dre Sabaton has pitted as well. But uh, still a few drivers uh, trying to see if they can get onto me medium tyres potentially, I would suggest. I thought Timmy was going to go down on the inside of Fruitful. I think Fruitful got past Timmy, and then Timmy thought, yeah, I might get you back, but decided not to. Uh, well, I don't know Rowan why. has got past, or Rowan has got past <laughs> Wizard, and Wizard yeah. has just, he's, he's not helped Alp at all. Um, Alp came out of the pits and ended up just behind Wizard. Wizard's got no no need for him to move over. And, uh, you yeah, know, fighting his corner there for the McLaren uh, team. It's not been a great season overall. Um, but, uh, no, doing himself well here. So, yeah, I'll put the tyres back on. I forgot to change it. There you go. <laughs> I'll do the position changes later on. Uh, yeah, so you've got the top three haven't pitted. I'll put the stops on for a second. There you go. So, Rowan, three, four... Well, well, In and interesting out. here that Rowan has caught Risa, hasn't he? Yes. Now, obviously Risa's got a pit. How hard do you fight? How hard do you, know, you fight? Do you, well, you if, fight, you're, if you're Jack what? Pentis, as hard as you possibly can, right? Yes. I mean, I'd, I'd be sticking my elbows out here because, okay... The uh, tyre situation is going to be in favour of the Williams, but if you can keep them behind and keep them as close as possible, then should the rain come, you've effectively gained almost a pit stop on him. And uh, should the rain not come, and you do need to put uh, fresh softs on, those softs could be three to four seconds a lap faster for, uh, you know, okay, limited time only. They will wear very quickly, but uh, there is always that possibility as the remaining three soft runners, that's Julian. Oh dear. Julian and uh, and Ricky are pitted on the same lap. That's that's. Oh, dis how is that even? Possible? I mean, that's bizarre. No, it's possible because Ricky would have just gone there, and that's well, that's dreadful. That's dreadful strategy from the from the Haas uh, team. So yeah, Julian's pitted, and Risa coming in, uh, and Ricky Ricky coming in but behind. Julian okay. Hasn't pitted. He's just had a battle with Rowan, and Rowan might go for a double move on Persassin. In a turn three, is he going to go for it? He is. He's contact at the racing points, nearly facing him the wrong way. Somehow, both make it through. Julian says thank you very much and goes through. Uh, did he pick the, the same? Second time oh, he's he, been beaten. It was up Ricciardo there. that got shafted. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I, I got yeah. mixed up. My bad. Yeah, so Ricky was the second in and would have lost him a lot of time. 
Second time Assassin has been beaten up there, and I think he's got cause to cause for grievance there. I think uh, yeah. Robin tags him on there. They all got through okay, but oh, Robin someone just hit an end plate. I heard a noise. Through. It's Assassin. Yeah, he hit the wall through the car, uh, going into the castle section, and that's really compromised his race and his strategy now. Had a great, great debut in EU1. I know he's only reserve, but he had a great uh, reserve debut. Uh, but this one's not going quite so well. Yeah, that's a bit, bit disastrous, really, there for him as well. He's in an end plate on hard tyres, well, and he's just clouted the wall again. So I suspect there's further damage to be done there. But yeah, that's that, that's going to be handling horribly, and he'll have to lift going through the uh, final sweeping section. Otherwise, he might just hit the wall. What well, isn't handling horribly is Rowan's car, and he's going to go on the left side of Risa, and that is going to be second place, net first, for Rowan at the moment, if we believe his pit stops to come. And he is just ahead there. Ooh, the man who is trying to hunt back from a quali ban has got the first penalty of the night. Not an easy place to get penalties, to be honest, so um, that may come back to haunt him. I think the good news for Rowan as well is that because he was able to elongate his strategy a bit, he stayed Ooh, out of the clear Oh, we got wheel to air. action. Sorry, Jack. Conzo and Snipes. That was beautiful in a turn two. We both got DRS as well, so this is going to be neck and neck, I think. And they're both going to go side by side in a turn three. The Ferrari break super late, and I think there was contact. Conzo's lost out. Jesse Basson might be licking his lips on the inside of four. Backs out. Good decision. Not much that Snipes could do there. He was quite aggressive on uh, on, on Conzo, but, but there isn't really an awful lot that Snipes could do. He was faced with the choice of that, surrender or be in the wall. Um, but uh, all firm but fair racing, but um, it did compromise the Renault no end there because he, uh, he had to uh, correct quite a horrible slide. And uh, yeah, it's cost him a second, and he's going to be straight on the back of Calzo. Calzo on eight lap old hard tyres. After his earlier excursions, um, where he uh, where he spun, and I think he's going to be relieved of ninth fairly quickly. Now Timmy won't make it too difficult for Snipes. So Snipes in a really good position here. Um, if he can make those medium tyres last, or if the rain comes. Yeah, I think he'll get past Cows away. We can go on board with the Spinella, the uh, the red Ferrari with the green stripes on. Let's see some next step one again. Here we go. And uh, I don't think he'll need much power, not even touching that battery. Oh, a little bit of a weave, left and right and left, and he decides to go left eventually, and uh, should be a nice and easy pass for IFR Snipes. And the next person up the road is his teammate. Yeah, Timmy won't make it difficult. I suspect they'll, they'll uh, swap, probably not down the straight, because it's, it's 1.7 seconds, but um, I suspect they'll swap probably this time next lap without causing any any issues to one another. Tibby's driving himself a really sensible race at the moment. Nick Hook says Joey's putting the gap on him. Uh, maybe. Look it must be it. said, Joey's driving very well. I uh, expected Rowan to start to cruise up to uh, uh, to him, but Reese, to his credit, is a never more than a second behind, and that might be in the back of Rowan's mind. That might be why he's not been able to get away because he's had to keep pressing buttons and had to get a bit racy um, rather than just being able to settle into the river. He's always got something else on the back of his mind. Yellow Safety car, car deployed. Safety Who car. is it? Total it's, peace. Uh, so free. Was that an incident with that racing point who's just gone past? Who knows? Yeah, no, it was out before the racing point got there. Um, I think you, uh, if you're any of the top, any anyone in the top ten now, you I'm gamble. You put me. Okay. You, you, if you're in the top eight, uh, you gamble. You put medium tyres on. If you're snipes, you probably stay out. Well, let's find um, out. If you're anybody else, you pit for medium tyres. I would, or you Joe is heading to the left hand line. line. Um, Rowan hasn't pitted. I don't want to say that's that. illegal. But I thought the rule was you have to have both tyres within the white line. Fruitful pits. He enters it <laughs> in the fashion. I mean, I thought the rule was you have to have both tyres within the white line. That wasn't. Were you on board? Yes. <laughs> but, okay. but, like, it could have been a lot of other people as well. Like, I don't know. I don't know how strict they are on it. Oh, I'm pretty sure they're pretty strict on it, but. Oh, who knows, right? Anyway, they can look at them themselves. Uh, well, it must be said, fruitful entered as you should. So he's got no issues there. Nice. Nice. 
impossible. Now, once you lock onto think, a car, I'm surprised. Lane. I'm surprised that the Ferrari of Timmy hasn't pitted. I'm well. I'm not surprised. I'm, I'm absolutely gobsmacked, to be perfectly honest, because that was a chance there to come in, put medium tires on, and be okay. He'd have probably dropped to probably 13th, 12th, or 13th, but he'd have been on medium tires. It wouldn't. He's going to be a bit of a roadblock. He and Calzo are going to be a, a mobile chicane. <laughs> And uh, they'll they'll think like a stone, and they'll fall right to the back anyway. So they might as well gamble, put medium tyres on, and uh, you know, what, put yourself in the mix. What we can establish is most people are trying to go longer. So let's put the situation as clear as daylight. If Bolin wins this race, he'll be on 1:30. Now, because of where Risa is, he'll only be on 108. Uh, and where's Fruitful? He is 10th. So he will be on 103. So Bolin is in a really good situation here. Um, for but now. he's in hard tyres with Joey in fourth on mediums and a few cars behind on medium mm. tyres where the field is closed up. Mm. Yeah. Especially if there's rain to come, the tyre crossover may not come back into the uh, into the hard tyres. Um, you know, it may not come back into that, to that equation. So... <laughs> I think what you really need is uh, is that rain. If you're if you're the hard tyres, you 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 don't want it to rain. From mediums though, you want to get out ahead and then hope it rains. Probably about lap 20, lap 21. Yeah. Which then puts you in no man's land in terms of you know do you stick or do you twist, and uh, can leave you with a very horrible decision to make. Do you stick or do you twist? That's like uh, I'm, watching I'm Golden Balls again. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty surprised Persassin's on soft. He might go back to mediums. He might well have only pitted as uh, Calzo well, pits. We, I'm that sure you've that makes sense. That well, makes sense in pitting because his teammate would have been just ahead and he would have had to have pitted. So I can understand that. Um, and obviously with them being brothers, they will look after each other. And he's going to come out 15. I think Persassin's going to pit again. Uh, let's just see. Yeah, he's fine on pit entry as well. No issues there. Well, I'm sure you know, Jack, time ticks when you're on a safety car. And the cloud yep. cover has definitely increased. Yes. Okay, so the McLaren of Neil has pitted to put on further fresh mediums. You might as well when you're 16th. Um, and that's another penalty for... Ah, uh, Assassin's got to serve two penalties, so you might as well serve the pair of them. Makes a bit of sense. Nick Hook says, Is there much of a difference between this game in 2019 and just got 2019 got the Super Cheap? Uh, yes, actually. Uh, there is. Uh, wait till a, a sale. 2020 will go on sale before 2021 comes out. And buy it if you're not going to get 21. Uh, I, I, I do like this game. I do. I really do. It's a bit much bigger upgrade from 2019. Uh, it's just a few problems on the multiplayer. But if you don't play multiplayer that much, it doesn't matter. Uh, any other comments? I'll try and read them through shortly. We've got this lap of a safety car. It'll come in, I'm sure. Persassin will be the last car. He's nearly caught up with Wizard in front of him. Wizard trying to give it you one a good go. It is hard. I wouldn't even try and attempt. I mean, some of these drivers are just disgustingly quick. And the guy who DNF'd to cause the safety car has left the session. Not the best night for Total Peas, unfortunately, but uh, we move with 17. Uh, 14 laps when we cross the line to go. Will it rain before the end of the race? We're not even halfway through yet. Cross your fingers, it could be a banger. Yes, and uh, I haven't seen other lines. We haven't seen the message. I don't know. Oh, it is. Just as soon as I say that. It's quite a late message. Uh, normally it's uh, a couple of corners beforehand, but the drivers have all caught up, so you may as well. Now, rowing. If you're rowing, you're going as late as possible. Like, line. Like, on the line. Yeah, on, on the line. Um, because you want to stay as slow as possible because you've got such, such a slipstream effect behind you. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, really, just how much... Uh, slipstream effect there is so he's going to yep. go as late as possible keep warming those hard tyres up they're going to be a nightmare to get back into the temperature window I think the person who's going to struggle most is Timmy in 5th place he's oh what a start that is 
Rowan has gone, caught him napping, and Rowan's going to be wheel to wheel with Julian. Julian is perfect here because he could go round the outside. Can't overtake past the line, but he uh, can't overtake before the line. He can now. He goes wide, Vahas Driver. That brings Joey into the left hand side. He might get two people in two corners. Joey on the inside of turn two. The Alpha Male has it. Rowan's going for a switch. Giroud has it paid off. It might have done. He's got the traction on the out. Yellow flag has is off. They're going wheel to wheel. Rowan Ricky and Joey. And Ricky and Timmy have uh, had a collision behind. That was actually I'm sorry, quite high I don't, I'm not interested in that because Joey and Rowan get so close through turn three. And Joey makes it two moves off a safety car restart. The perfect start. Now, can he hunt after Rowan at the top of the Grand Prix? So, Julian really outsmarted himself going into the first corner. He was neither, he neither committed... Um, neither committed to the overtake nor backed out early enough and ended up just wafting himself wide well past the apex uh, and, and off the circuit and Joey Joey played it well had an eye on what was happening ahead knew that he was going to have a run on at least one of the drivers got himself down the inside to surprise Rowan Rowan was busy watching Julian as he was flailing around on the marbles and um, yeah excellent stuff there's a collision I think Dre Sebastian's in strife he is in strife at the castle section. I think he survived, but I think he might have damage, judging by that. It does look like it's understeering quite badly. So, uh, yeah, a few cars have been claimed on the uh, on the open lap of the restart. I think Ricky and Timmy have both got quite heavy damage, and I think Dre Sebastian has damage in 15. Uh, I don't normally use the phrase, but I was sexy racing by Joey, but was that pit entry? Legal. Anyway, uh, behind Fruitful and Snipes, Fruitful has got past him. Is Snipes going to try and come back? I don't quite think he's got the momentum uh, straight on this occasion. No, that's a first lap after the safety car complete. There has been a couple of changes. Reese is up to fifth also. Uh, the only man on the grid with that penalty, as we mentioned before. Has Reese got a run on Julian in front? I don't think so. The gap only three temps. Needs a little bit more. No DRS on until the start of lap 15 of course Ricky's got a bit of damage to his front wing was going to try and enter the pits but then realised it was going to be an illegal pit entry so he's had to go around again <laughs> uh, he was actually quite Clever. late uh, Timmy's put soft on well you might as well gamble when you've uh, lost everything as badly as he has um, and then here comes Dre Sebastian in the uh, yeah it's just been an absolute disaster for Red Bull isn't it been absolutely woeful from start to finish um, with Milan, obviously. Well, he's back in 10th, but, uh, you know, he lost, obviously, P4, P5 earlier on. So, uh, yes, yeah, not a good day. And there's some Keynes outfit. There's a bit of a queue, isn't there, for him behind Rowan. Rowan's one and a half seconds behind Joey, who's going to be within DRS soon of Rowan. Now, if you're Rowan, and I have to pronounce them quite deliberately on each of those. I think I might start calling him bowling. Yeah, I think I might start doing so as well, but... Joey's going to have DRS pretty soon. And as long as he doesn't belch all of his ERS away, um, he will have a bit of an advantage there, certainly for the time being. But, um, yeah, I don't think there's DRS this lap. It's next lap, isn't it? I'm not it it'll start, yeah. It won't give you a one down to turn two this time, I don't think. It'll be on the straight after. Uh, Fruitful is gaining very slightly on Risa. I don't think he's going to make it. 201 mile per hour without DRS. It's not bad, is it? Uh, Alpen Snipes, what's going on here? Oh, we got Ray. Oh, we've touched. Did Alp touch the wall after it, though? Was no. enough room left? I, I think so, as they go again. Twice after a safety car. Another side pod bang. It's getting a bit feisty between these two. And they're going to go at it again, Jack, in the turn three. Okay, I'm watching from Stinson because he's going to benefit from this the one way. Out turns in. No, oh, that was naughty. That was never going to work. Out, out turns in. Out turned in a lot. Snipes, Snipes turned a bit late, granted, but out turned in, and that was always going to end in tears. As soon as you turn in and mate and initiate contact, you're both going straight, straight on. Reese is going on the inside of turn seven. I hadn't seen this before, and he's done it. And Fruitful is trying to gain on the opportunity too, but there's no room. Uh, opportunistic by Reese. Sorry, I didn't want to cut yeah, in. Yeah, Julian caught napping there. Uh, shouldn't allow himself really to be overtaken there. I thought he would have defended that a little bit harder. The problem is now is that he's going to be under attack almost immediately from Fruitful. He'll probably get DRS for the next lap or so, but um, yeah. He, I'm surprised he allowed that to happen, to be honest. Now, as uh, oh, fruitful passes him without even needing DRS. It was a poor exit from Julian, who's not had a great yeah. lap at all. Uh, Joey's going to get past Rowan here. Uh, 
and uh, it's going to be quite easy I think not even using that battery right hand side there you go and uh, that alpha male is passed I can probably go off it now because that's probably done yep it is Stinson Julian is Stinson going to try and go around the outside? Is he going to be opportunistic? Is that the right word? Or is aggressive the right word? He's going on the inside instead. Oh, he hasn't paid off, has he? Didn't really commit to the move. I don't think he... Yeah, now he's tucked in behind Julian. All he's done is cost himself a bit of time. Needed to be a little bit later on the brakes if venturing down the inside was ever going to be an option there. But, um, yeah, not really his finest moment there, since he should really have uh, either committed or waited. But Julian's locked up. Locked up, and Stint's going to go around the outside. No, they squeeze each other, but they just keep themselves out of the barriers. And um, they live to fight another day. It's like me in a rugby tackle. Go full in or come out with broken limbs. Literally. Uh, maybe bad. that's a bad analogy. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, as long as I get the money for it to fit my limbs, sorted. Lap 16 and 20. Oh, he's gone wide, Mercedes! Oh, how close was that end plate of Stinson hitting that wall? Someone get a clip on that. That was close, and now Stinson's... Uh... Okay, he got a pretty good exit. I thought Milan was going to be right behind him, but he's okay as we end yeah, through looks, the back looks end. looks okay. He survived, um, and now he's going to have to have another run at Julian. Julian's just kicked the back end out, and he's just nearly smacked the wall as well. Um, but the hard's hanging on little bit to, uh, to to fruitful ahead but he's uh, he's over a second so he's not quite going to make DRS I don't think the first helicopter yeah, cam of the night second. Woo! didn't know how we got to go 190 miles an hour pretty sure we don't but there we go we've got all the cars heading down 200 plus down to turn one lovely view and uh, I don't think any overtakes are going to happen on this occasion we'll pop to Risa though because he may have a go of going down to turn three momentarily Joe, stop asking questions in the chat, mate. Watch for racing, you'll know. Stinson's used a lot of his ERS in comparison to uh, in comparison to Julian, and I suspect that that's going to put him in poor set just for a little bit longer because uh, what's happened is Stinson could just uh, Julian could just burn it a little bit uh, just on the exit and then not need to touch it for a little while, whereas Stinson's got to burn, burn, burn to uh, to get anywhere near him at the moment. Track temperature temperature has dropped a couple of degrees is about a sign Whoa, who knows um i don't know if anyone has got any engineers in the stream who normally go like just to let you know jeff said 10 minutes um but uh, yeah i'll keep an eye on it oh my reese's m plates uh, alpha tower of rowan getting a little bit wide on the elk side of the castle section but he's okay for now three tenths for gap from the mercedes behind uh, eight tenths rowing to Joey. Uh, a couple of smaller gaps too. A couple of big gaps. Alp from that moment he had. Jack with that M plate damage who uh, you think he turned in. So maybe his own yeah, fault. Yeah, I mean, I only saw it once, um, but he turns before Snipes does. Um, and we so, get a pretty good view here, don't we? Point, if you're on, yeah, and I think if you're on the outside kind of just have to let it go there uh, because you're faced with usually contact or the wall or both and that's what happened to uh to Alp but uh Stuart will decide they'll get multiple looks at it and they'll be able to uh to check it through we obviously only get one go don't we uh do. Rowan is just dropped out of DRS Joey's really had to work hard though to do that it's 1.3 seconds Rowan is not happy on these sides at all he does no, have more, DR, uh, more ERS than Fruitful. Fruitful burns all of his battery and can't get anywhere near him going into the, uh, going into the breaking zone. And so if, if he can hang on and keep his battery for you know another two laps just, just to conserve, he might be okay. He's got no threat really from behind from Risa whilst he's in the DRS train. So he may as well try and just keep hold of that battery just for the time being. Fastest lap has been set by Alp, but of course he won't get a point because he's outside the top 10 and he's 21 seconds away from Wizard, I believe. Uh, so, unfortunately, after that end plate damage, I don't think Alp will be getting him a point, which but is I a don't shame. Think, I don't think with that far away from, you know, drivers on hard tyres starting to be a bit faster than drivers on, on medium tyres. Okay, uh, yeah. But they're not terribly far away. Julian, he's having a chat with the barrier, so he'll be passed by Stinson, I would have thought. 
going into the uh, first corner. But in general, Rowan, or Bowling or whatever he is, he's only lost three tenths of a second since the start of the lap. And so that would tell me that the mediums are going to start struggling very soon. Stinson's used all of his battery and his DRS open, so um, it's going to be the slow motion overtake. Of course, Julian's just going to use DRS and get back at him down into turn three. Yeah, just uh, waiting to see if Julian was going to go around the outside. Calzo, I don't know if he went inside or outside, but has got past Persassin. That's for the final. Yeah, oh, Persassin's lost it! Line. Power control and uh, too much power leads to too much end plate damage in a wall. And Persassin is now going to drop to 30. Yes, quite a lot of... Um... Quite a lot of Force India or Racing Points M play has been strewn across the circuit. Whilst you were watching that, Stinson and Milan and Snipes have all passed Julian. Julian got mugged by Stinson going into the second corner. Milan says, I'll have a little bit of that. And Snipes follows them through. Snipes is never, never a stranger to getting his elbows out. It pays off again there because he's, uh, he's, he's got past Julian. Julian's been mugged a couple of times. It's not really been his race. Uh, but he's still in ninth, still going to score some points for Haas, and uh, need to, you know, after what was an inconsistent start for the Haas team in general at the start, they do need just something to pick up some solid points at the moment. Limit, at this moment in time, Williams will win the Constructors' Championship. Thank you for yeah. the information. Uh, we will keep an eye on it, second and fourth. Yeah, yeah we said at the stop of the stream, didn't we, that uh, you know, uh, racing points were well within the shout and then they've all you know strewn bits of front wing all over the place and it's really been an absolutely uh, an awful awful race for them so far but this is Azerbaijan this is Baku anything can happen um, and does it start with Footfall getting past Rowan in a turn one I think it does I think Rowan's going to concede it now if Risa would have thought Rowan was going to concede it like he did he may have been able to get past before, but he's going to have to try again battery. now. He's got a lot more battery now over Rowan. Rowan is uh, going to very quickly oh, burn that. Oh he's on red. He's got 8%. Whereas Rowan has got 30%. And that's very cleanly done, very nicely done on the race. No, Rowan, Rowan is going to hang on. <laughs> he's uh, but Reese is round the outside. And so, yeah, once you've got the high ground, once you get a little bit ahead on the outside into the braking zone there. Uh, the way the corner is, you can kind of block the exit, and that's exactly what Reese has done there. Now he's got to go out, get off the fruitful, and he's got a three second penalty to shift. Track temperature has now gone up a degree. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you, thank you, Taz. Yeah, I don't think this rain's coming. Rick, no, it is, I don't it's think it's going to be that dash. Yeah. That will favour the hard runners. Um, the hard runners. Unless you're Timmy, anyway. If it rained uh, now and soaked the track. How good would it be? It won't happen. We'll it won't. Up. But, you know, just trying, trying to think. I think the person who's going to be most in danger on hard tyres is Rowan, but um, yes. I suspect the medium runner of Snipes is probably going to be in a bit of strife by the end because those tyres have had to have done nearly 16 laps. That's a long time on those medium tyres. They won't feel very nice at all. What's not feeling very nice at all is the power output of Rowan. Rowan has, uh, well, he's, he's, he's got 1% battery. He's, uh, you know, he's going nowhere in the straight. Fruitful's managed to save a little bit, and Risa has spent all of his trying to pass Rowan, and so now they're quite equal, so as long as they can keep a, a gap to one another, as I think there's a move for Julian on Snipes, said that Snipes is going to start to struggle. Julian has just passed him uh, around the outside into turn one, nice block pass around the outside there for the German driver. Drive off! And uh, I think Calzo was uh, trying to get involved as well. Is Snipes going to come back at Julian? Stays behind. You know when drivers wiggle out, I always think, yeah? And then they just dip back in like, no. Yeah. Is it a uh, faint well, tactic? I don't know. Is it a... I don't, I don't know wanna, what, why they do it. Some drivers will have the mirror on, and some drivers will have the arrows on, and you want to try and unsettle the driver ahead. That's what you're doing. Right. You're trying to sort of... You're trying to get in his head. You're trying to plant the seed of doubt. When you plant the seed of doubt, generally speaking, the driver either makes a mistake or he slows up. If he slows up, he makes himself potentially a bit easier to pass. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That 
make sense. Lap 21 or 26, everybody. I don't know about you, Jack, but I thought the qualifying went really quick. And I think this race has gone really quick. <laughs> it has gone quite quick, hasn't it? Um, it's, there's, there's been plenty to talk about. I think Calzo's in the pound seats here for, for eighth place because the drivers ahead have very little power in terms of uh, battery deformment. Julian's not going to have DRS, whereas uh, Calzo has 60% of DRS left. Now, Calzo's on fresher tyres than the pair of them ahead. And um, I think his resurpass pass is fruitful, but that's not going to matter much unless he gets three seconds up the road. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think that uh, Calzo's just pacing himself here uh, before he has a run at one or the pair of these uh, for P8. So that's a well-managed race from the Scotsman. I tell you what, Milan has made a good comeback drive from that bad yeah, he's moment done he really had when well, he dropped he? to 13th. Yeah, because yeah, he had an absolute shocker, didn't he? Let's be honest, when he uh, when he binned it um, at Ericsson Corner, and um, no, I think he's he's done really really well um, to to get himself up to seventh, and he's kept his head. He could have thrown in the towel. But uh, he didn't. I think Neil's going to have Conzo for 11th here. It's not going to be for any points. No, not quite. Conzo just makes sure that he keeps hold ahead of the McLaren driver for the time being. Yeah, I've just got on board with that. I'm not playing devil's advocate here, right? But I have seen how closely the stewards follow their messages. If Joey was to get penalised for that pit entry, if anyone reports it, which I'm sure they will, he would drop to 10th. <laughs> Which so is what quite was the? I, I thought it was Risa that you uh, you flagged up. Was it? Was it not Joey? No, it, was, it wasn't Risa. No. Oh, okay, no, it was no, the it's first been... guy in the pit. Okay, they'll be a bit sensible. Milan's just lost a bit of front wing. Um, I've just seen that he's hit the wall at uh, the left hander just before you finish the second sector, and I'm pretty sure that uh, front wing M plate said Mobile One on, which is uh, a Red Bull sponsor. And indeed, he's half a he's half an emblate mi he's half a wing missing. That's yeah, uh, he's got gonna hamper him for the last four laps. He's just gonna have to drive around that problem. Should still score points, but um, yeah, a bit of an inconvenience he didn't really need. Yeah, absolutely, mate. And uh, yeah, he's uh, if he had a distance between the three cars behind, uh, he may have a chance. But that distance is not great at all. That second and a half. 2.1, 2 sorry, for the three cars behind oh, him, Julian you can see. Julian had a shocker out of there, yeah. Julian's just yeah. had a shocker out of turn two. What this does do is, for the time being anyway, creates a DRS train, um, which is it's not what Calzo wants at all. But um, because because Milan's going to fall away from Stinson, you would imagine, not fallen away yet, but you would imagine that, that the problems come in the next section of the track. He's got Julian all over him like a cheap suit. And Snipes is never a man to mess about when it comes to trying to overtake a car. So um, problems for the uh, for the Red Bull. I think he will drop back probably two ten, uh, notwithstanding any penalties that Joey may or may not face. Speaking of penalties uh, that Joey may or may not face, a big penalty in the form of Rowan is coming his way. Taking half a second off him in the last two uh, the last two laps, but he's not got any ERS whatsoever to play with. So if he can just burn. Get in DRS and save it for a little while uh, before a last lap run. He'll have him, but uh, at the moment that's not happening. Uh, Joey's used well. Joey's very quick in the straight line anyway. Oh, yellow flags. That's out. It is well, castle section. Yeah, I think it's safe to say that Alp hasn't climbed mountains in this race, has he? He's, yeah, uh, rather um... rather fell at the first hurdle, isn't he? And uh, uh, in that, he's, he's not even made it to boot camp. Oh, Milan, weaving like a, I don't know, I don't know what weaves, but he tried to weave. Ricciardo, the second man of the night, to get a penalty. You did say it was hard to get a penalty. And weaving, that's kind like, of uh, weaving like one of those knitting nanas on those shredded wheat adverts. Yeah, we'll, we'll add that as a lovely simile. <laughs> Three laps to go of this. Stinson is quite slow. Um... Not not compared to most normal normal drivers, but uh, comparatively compared to this, he's got a damaged Milan behind him, um, yes. and he's well, I was expecting him as you heard earlier to get away and go. That's not happened. Stinson's either got a bit of damage or he is just not happy on those stars. Can't see anything visible on there, can you? Nothing looks that bad. 
But, um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. can't explain his pace. He's, um, um, no. There's no... Nothing on Tass. No, nothing showing on Tass. I thought he might, but he's only 8 tenths, less than, uh, ahead of Milan. Milan, who is struggling now uh, to turn right, because obviously the area which uh, most controls the right hand, or, or struggling to turn left, because the area that does uh, bear the most weight is now half a wing down, so the performance is going to be affected there. And I think Julian's going to try and have a run with what little ERS he does have left. Land burning that now, um, and I think it's just going to be a stalemate going into the first corner. I don't know if you're going to stay with this, but Julian might have a bit of a run. Does he? No. I'll stay with whatever you're on, yes. sir. No, 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 he's not. No, uh, Calzo has got past Snipes behind. Snipes' medium tyres have gone. He's just going to plod around and pick up a point now if he's sensible. But, um, uh, yes, I think. Uh, I'm surprised, really, that, and I've said this before, you may have heard, that Stinson is, is, isn't is getting away, because, yes. okay, that DRS is massive, but, um, I, you know, he should be able to pull away with the turbulence and uh, an improved sound force. Down the inside goes Julian into the turn six, turn five. Didn't make it work. No, nope. where's the camera shot? That. Here comes oh, Julian contact. down the inside. Oh, no, no, you can't drive like that. You can because they survived. I think he's letting back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Th that was right to do, to be honest, because um, you know, you can't... It was all a bit da desperate damn, wasn't it? Um, yeah. In terms of trying to actually get past and get going, and um, yeah. Yeah, so it's never going to work there. I'd rather not do maths after the race, so I'll try and spell out what Mexico is going to offer. Uh, so, Bolin at the moment is 18, so that'll be 1, 2, 3. Reese is 15, so that'll be 119, and then Fruitful will be uh, 114, so it'll be 123, 119, and 114 uh, for Bolin, Reese, and Fruitful. Mexico is going to be a banger, and I still think Williams are going to win the Constructors Jack. And we said that before the season, but they've had a lot of pressure, didn't they? Because I'm not being, you know. I'm not favouring Vaporizer here, but if he would have been here last week with his wheel working, and tonight with his wheel working, I think Racing Point would have nipped it. And I also think he would have I'm won the championship. I'm not going to say that so much as Julian spins his rears out and I have to change anything because Carlton's not close enough. When um, was the last I, time? Saying... When was the last time Williams had two cars in the top five? Probably the mid noughties but. Um... <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't know what they consist of, but I don't want to know when, either. When I was young... Um, Wait, yeah. sorry, just one second. You said the hards would come into play. They Rowan are. is going to have one final shot to win this Grand Prix with a one and a bit kilometre flat straight coming up. But Joey's got a lot more battery left, so Rowan, if he's sensible, will save it, will not touch it. Until he's in the DRS zone because oh, he's got a bit of traction. You you'll have to spend it wisely here because uh, Joey's tyres are gone. Those rears are finished. He's going to have to spend what he has wisely because Joey, you can bet, will only press it once Rowan gets alongside. Here we go. It's going to be the fight the to the line. He's going to go to the right hand Rowan. side. I, I agree. Yeah, I think he's backed off. But is Joey going to get on the slip stream on the final bit? Yeah, this Joey, is the end of the Joey, race, ladies and gentlemen. Rowan has won the race, and Joey has come second. And Risa, from 18th on the grid, has done a masterclass to not get on the podium. He's, he's, he's gone 14th. He was a 10th. That, that really cost him, that penalty. And uh, a warnings penalty is not one you can usually have too many complaints about. Um, Milan, how well has he done to hold on to 7th place with the damaged car? Well, by 0 0.062. Absolutely stupendously. That's so Reese has missed out by a temp. Joey's missed out by a temp. Well, not missed out. He got overtaken. Milan saved by a temp. Yeah. Not a bad answer by Jan. Roll on Mexico, I say. 11 points or whatever it is between the, the top three candidates. Yeah, sign, sign me up. Yeah, certainly. I mean, certainly all to play for. 
But the pressure's on, isn't it? Especially if you're rowing. No, excellent win there, but he's now got to make sure that it, those doubts don't creep in. He can't, he can't fall at the finish line, can he? Otherwise, no. uh, all that season's work will be for nothing. Okay, they're going to win the Constructors' Championship. They have, but you really want the drivers, don't you? You really want the drivers. Absolutely. Uh, the rain didn't come, but uh, we didn't need it for entertainment. Not tonight, anyway. So you got the two Williams on the podium, and of course you got Joey there as well. I'll just get a couple of picks from the standings. Hopefully Jack can invite the people. Reese, uh, oh, I mean I love football, but it would have been nice to have Reese on the podium from 18th on the grid. But it's all good. Take a picture there. Uh, bang. And we'll get, uh, so there is second and third. We now wait for first place, and that is. Uh, about to call him Bowen. It's not Bowen, it's Bowling or it's Rowan, isn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, it's definitely not Rowan. No, no, definitely not called Rowan. And we have all three drivers. I'm going to start with third place. That's IFR Fruitful. Fruitful, a consistent drive, a calm drive uh, to third place. Just some of your thoughts. I know you, you, you got Risa on a penalty, but um, well, if you don't exceed the track limits, then you don't get punished. Is that fair to say? That's, that's fair to say, yeah. I've been... Uh... I've had two warnings, so I had to watch out for, uh, throughout the whole race, but uh, it was everything except for calm. I was making so much mistakes, so many mistakes that I just had no confidence going into Castle every single time, so it was a really scary race for me. It uh, felt like not really much pace, because I wanted to go for the win, but that was in no way possible. But no, still a good, good P3 for me. You and your team, mate. Okay, you, congratulations. You've won the Constructors' Championship for you won uh, because I think it's fair to say that uh, the racing point between them had an absolute western. Um, but for thir for you, it's you, Risa, in fourth, obviously, and, and Rowan for the championship. Yeah. You put yourself in a situation where you are racing your teammate for the championship in Mexico. Yes. Do the gloves, the can, gloves can come I, off or do you look after each other? Oh, the, the, the gloves have come off already. I mean, uh, we had no team orders today, practically. So it was it's just driving as hard as you can. And if you overtake him, you overtake him. It's as simple as that. So it's a uh, free for all. Yeah, I mean, sign me up for a bit of Mexico fruitful. You've got, um, just like last season, a second chance, haven't you? Uh, exactly. to uh, win the championship and uh, what is quite scary from uh, probably a driving perspective mate is that it all comes down to about 45 minutes doesn't it once those lights go out I think that's the most beautiful thing there is I mean uh, you've battled throughout the whole season uh, to get this title and then the last race you have to, uh, get, um, to gain a 12 points to win a championship I mean that's beautiful It's uh, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the hunter so uh, he has to. He, he has to be nervous because he has to. Um, he can't lose this one. It's like that, you know. Would I can only win. Would you prefer to be hunting or be hunted? Hunting. <laughs> That's like um, uh, when I'm driving behind someone, I'm more comfortable than in front of them. So I always like to be the hunter. Fair enough, and uh, you were the only driver in the top five to do uh, the two-stop, wasn't it? And it paid off, didn't it? Yeah, I, I thought that uh, going for the mediums was the better strategy, as I didn't really like the hards. So, yeah, just, it was a free stop, so it wasn't really a two-stop. I'm just timing out some geezer in the, uh, in the chat. <laughs> He just, I don't know. Anyway, um, for you for that superb. Um, I wish you the best of luck in Mexico. Um, put on a show for us, and uh, yeah, I uh, again wish you the best of luck. Yeah, thanks, mate. So we're gonna go to second place, uh, Joey. Joey, you had it in the bag right until the last. You must be gutted with that, but uh, still a good recovery after uh, after. Not an easy qualifying. Just sum up your feelings on that and uh, how you got yourself into the race itself. Um, yeah, uh, I messed up. I didn't realise he had no ERS, so I tried to break and go get the ERS, but uh, 
I um I thought the speed trap was the DRS line, and it wasn't. So, uh, yeah, I kind of messed up, but uh, I mean, Bowen's pace was just crazy. So, yeah, qualifying, uh, I aimed for P11. I don't know if uh, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but I basically was nine tenths up, but then I knew what the P11 time was, so I just uh, slowed down. And uh, yeah, worked out really. Uh, why why did you slow up then to uh, to start P11 when you were nearly a second up, knowing that a second would have got you an awful lot of ta- uh, places? Would were the softs that bad that um, you know you really wanted to to stay away from those unless there was a last lap dash? Um, I mean, I was probably planning on doing hard soft. I wasn't really sure on what strategy, but. Um... I just, I, I knew my lap wasn't going to be pole because I hadn't done practice and I'd seen Bowen's bank a lap. And, um, yeah, I was just like, I'd rather be P11 on hards than P4 or below on soft. So, yeah, yeah just made sense. It's the way the game's built. Well done, Joey, again. Uh, how Thank close you. were we to any rain? Was it coming? Uh, no, I don't think so. No? I, I did a weather thing on lap 16, and it said it was just clear. Okay, fair enough. So, um, yeah. The safety car deployed for the first one. Um, did it help? Did it hinder? Did you have to think? Um, yeah, it helped a lot. I was uh, <laughs> I was probably coming out on fresh softs or mediums around 10 seconds maybe like 15 seconds behind so it would have been quite a job to overtake seven or eight people and uh yeah that basically put me on the same strategy but uh two seconds behind bowen which is quite helpful so yeah it was uh it was helpful and it was quite straightforward what i had to do because i only had one option i couldn't go on to hards so yeah I just had Ryan telling me how long mediums could go. <laughs> go go my Ryan again. Yeah, we had about f- five people on the share screen, so... Oh, what a boy. Plenty um, of uh, opinions. And, uh, of course, uh, it's now a three-way battle in Mexico. Could be a four-way if A-Prize was to win and everyone was to DNF, but that's not going to happen. So are you planning on bringing your extra pace to Mexico to spice it up a bit to try and win the Grand Prix and put all the others in their places or are you not as confident uh, on Mexico I mean I'm, I'm good on Mexico but I'm on a pad um, I think quite a lot of them are actually but um, it's not very nice on penalties yes. and uh, yeah I mean I'll, I'll try to get in the mix I, I, that's what I I may as well do. I'm not in the championship fight, so I may as well spice it up a bit. But, yes. um, but yeah, I mean, I'll try. I can't promise anything. <laughs> Good man. Well, well done. 11 to second. Good effort. Thank you. Going to go to the race winner, Rowan. Last lap, last corner almost. You must be delighted that uh, you managed to sneak through and get those crucial extra seven points. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it was. Uh pretty intense the last uh, few laps. I knew that his tires were gone so I needed to push all the way the last six, seven laps and it uh, paid out for me. How confident were you when Joey passed you uh, at the, you know, after the set safety car on the quicker tires? How confident were you that you could stick with him, keep the pressure on and get that last, you know, just, just, just edge back to him and put him under pressure uh, for the end of the uh, end of the race. Uh, yeah, I knew that I had some good pace on the hard, but yeah, you can't be that fast like on the new mediums. Because I was trying to stay in two seconds, and uh, I did. Like uh, it was uh, 1.8, 1.7 every time. And then I was gaining again, and then uh, the confidence were coming back, so I pushed it all the way. And, uh, yeah, that was good. Uh, Rowan, well done. That was uh, epic um, at yeah. the end. Um, we've heard Fruitful say in previous streams that you're quite a calm person. 
Um, and we, we kind of get that vibe in the interview. Uh, just about. Um, how calm will you be in Mexico when you know there's three drivers wanting the championship as much as you do after the work you've put in for 11 weeks? Mm, I just am going to do my own race and I will see where it uh, ends up. I know the guys are hunting me now. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to... Yeah, I'm gonna see what happens. I'm gonna do my little practice, and I uh, hope uh, I don't uh, get many penalties because I, <laughs> I don't like Mexico at all. But I'm gonna try do, to do my best and see what happens. Do you think Mexico will offer a good season finale? Uh, yeah, this, yeah, yeah, because uh, you got a lot of uh, opportunities to overtake and. Uh, it's pretty difficult to drive away uh, because of the DRS strain. So uh, it can be a fun race, but uh, let's see what the uh, other guys' strategy are because you need to do a uh, two-stop. So let's see what happens. And um, final question: Did anything go wrong for you tonight? Uh, no, I don't think so. No. All perfect, mm. smooth, happy. No, uh, only one warning. That was one mistake, but yeah. Everything was uh, perfect. Good man. Well, I wish you the best of luck for Mexico. Thank you. Please give us a show. <laughs> I hope so. I do my best. Good man. Good man. Thank you. Uh, Japan. Well, it's set up perfectly, isn't it? Almost for for Mexico. The uh, two of the, or three of the quickest drivers on the grid, consistently quickest drivers on the grid, are uh, in the title showdown. We hope Vaporizer can be there to. Uh, spice it up a little bit further because if Rowan does finish fourth and Fruitful wins, Fruitful can take the title, can't he? If uh, my maths doesn't let me Something down. Something like that. Yeah. So uh, what we do need really is uh, a few drivers in there to spice things up and uh, just mess around a little bit and uh, keep things keep things interesting uh, or even further interesting. Um, we've obviously got to uh, make sure that we mention F1 Armchairs, the Facebook group where uh, there is plenty of debate and discussion going on after not this race, but uh, the Emilia Romagna San Marino in, in Old Money Grand Prix uh, at the weekend, and no doubt looking forward to Portimao in just over 10 days' time. But there's a much more important season finale to go on before then, and that's next Wednesday, and that is season seven, E1. Can the highest altitude circuit? provide the highest level of entertainment you will see this season. Do not miss it. Uh, AM1 later on tonight. Endurance are in Zambort this week with some rain planned for the race. And yeah, all that's left of these drivers, 36 laps of the auto drummer, Hermanos Rodriguez. Please join us in a week's time. Stay safe. God bless and have a good night. Bye.